out here grabbing some material for the Haven's door. Pump to get this thing going. About to get loaded up and get the heck out of here. stock already boom a bunch of flat steel ready to be a door this is uh, a uh, planter for total environment so obviously that's not the door a lot of material a lot of work get some coffee let's go Haven's door fabricated and cut the frame yesterday, welded that on. Made the door today. Got the little the door and the window partition right here. We'll be delivering this in over in Texas. So that should be fun. Alright, so right now we're over here cutting the frame for the big window piece and basically just getting all these things cut out and ready to uh, weld and tie together for these big window pieces. Yeah. Everybody, grab a drink, grab a seat. Let's go. The new block is out. Patch them up, I got you. These don't fit me as well, so I can cut a little bit off of yeah, them. Yeah, it looks like you could use it, used to lose a couple inches there. Yeah, man. <laughs> but I like, wearing, I like wearing mine in a little baggy because, you know. Well, the, the waist and <laughs> inseam aren't really it's like. The, it's the, when he does bad right things, ratio. I just. <laughs> <laughs> Do it right! Got Logan here in the shop. They're finishing up a planter's build and I've been working on the Havens door today got most of it kind of set up working on the door itself now on the frames that are gonna hold up the glass there's gonna be three bars right there as you see right here 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 finally got the fitted frames in on the door frame itself for the little black partition piece and the frames welded in on the door now. Logan just called, asked us to go to lunch with him, so we're gonna do that. Finally got all the frames welded in. Just cut out a piece of one by one tubing to make the door handle. Cap the ends, about to grind them smooth. Both ends are capped. It's just kind of something like this. We got Mama Basic here looking at the Haven's door. This is how it all came to be. She's already like trying to wrap her mind around how it works. And oh my gosh, this is part of it. It's a whole like inset. Yeah. So, yeah, so this is the the stationary side light and it opens that way. This is no. 
that's inside the apple. Oh, open. Yeah. Because they have like a, I think like a closet over here, and there's like just enough room right there on this wall for the door to kind of like stay open and be out of the way. Uh, no, I mean, it's an eight foot door. That's pretty standard if you have like 10 foot or nine foot ceilings. But it's, it's definitely wider, you know, cause it's, it's an office door. So I'm sure they had like double French doors or something like that going into it. So, uh, going to a, uh, a single, a, like wider than average door, I think is a good move. Rondo. Finally, 21, baby. Rondo gets to have his first beer ever. Have a sip of it. Some people think it tastes like piss the first time. Happy birthday, Rondo. Huh? Huh? Got the Haven's door. Glass taped, sealed up, ready for, uh, ready to be primed and painted in the leather handle. Everything's super clean, looking good, nice and square and straight. mock-up of the handle wrap for the Haven Haven door. before I start gluing stuff. Almost done with uh, wrapping this first one. It takes a while to get it wrapped and, and glued and make sure everything sticks together because we don't want to get there and have this thing falling apart and, and not sticking. So, uh, got this first one done and then we're gonna be doing the bottom one or the other side of the door and then um, should be done after that. I think Logan said he wants to add a couple stitches in it. Uh, probably to give it some extra character so we'll see how that works out and uh, right now it's, it's looking so good I mean it's looking pretty good so far um, but yeah I might end up bulking these up a little bit maybe adding another layer on this one right here and that's probably how we're gonna add the stitch um, but it looks good so far so day for the Haven's door. Rolando left all the lights on, even though I specifically told him to turn the lights off. Slow them up, baby. Woo! Oh, you do it on Snapchat so you can flip it? Yeah. Anyways, now that I have to do that again. So, we got this door that's been coming on for three weeks. Got it loaded up finally. Got the frames right here. Have Rolando finishing up on the leather wrap. And we're about to take a three hour drive to Dallas. As you can see, the naked mole rat over there that just shaved. You'll get to see him later. He looks like a little kid. But yeah, he's finishing that up. Then we're gonna load that up and head on out. My mom made some 
quiero homemade tamales. You already know. You already know. Some black coffee. That's gonna hit. That's gonna hit. Super satisfying. Awesome. Just the way that it like pops and <laughs> uh, <so good. laughs> shoot sheetrock everywhere. Barbers, come on for shake me. This is going to the wrong barber. Huh? Yep. Oh. Got that, but I don't think we should ask. <laughs> Holy shit. And that step is heavier than I thought it would be. Ready? Yep. You gotta go vertical. <laughs> you gotta go first, actually. Yeah, no, this is going to be for everyone's first stop when no, they come in there. Yeah. Like, holy cow, it's I like all that, but what's this over here? I love the leather strap. That's a really cool design touch. Would yeah. you recommend us putting anything on this wall or like one of those door stoppers? We just wrapped up this door in uh, North Dallas. Everything fit great. Um, we, uh, call we got calloused in the house doing... This leather wrap, been a while since we leather wrapped a door handle, but it's looking clean. This uh, wraps up Hunter's office. So I'll uh, be sending y'all to to their social media stuff because uh, you'll see his whole office tour once he wraps it up. But um, yeah, what do looking you know, good. Martin? What do you know? All I know is work. Yarp. Yarp. Hooked him up with some basic and Vixen swag. If I don't take that risk, about to go get some barbecue. I'm hungry. Look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me. Look at me.
Poor Dylan. Dylan, we love you, bro. Sorry. We had to deal with that too. You see, that's a leg. No, Are it's you? a rib. I'm just comparing it to his leg. It's like that. That would be a leg. That's big as. That's bright, sure. but it's set up for outside. Yeah. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Yeah, you're about to drop. I'm feeling great. I'm feeling hey. good. You forgot the keys, Rolando. Park. Time for the shoot close. Where'd you park? Chatwick. Chatwick? Yeah. How you feeling? Dude, I'm so full. What did, we just eat? what did we just eat? Describe it, like, on a rate from one to ten. No. What is it? Well, to me, it's the best, it's the best barbecue I've ever had. <clears throat> Easy there, horse throat. It's uh, called Pecan Lodge in Deep Bellum. It's some pretty good shit, guys. Sorry for the language. I don't really give a shit. Bro, I like how they just specifically made spots for big ass trucks. What are they here? Since you said that you want to build truck components and stuff, we need to build a like a doomsday bumper for this thing. Dude! I'm fucking down. Look at how much space we got. Like, we need to make the front end of this thing look tough. I'm down. This is a, such a weird, dumb looking bumper to me that it doesn't come all the way around. Yeah. It like irritates me every time I walk up to it. Right. Rolando was just doing the wrong way. He tried to coming from this that. side, he was going right into him. You know, you got him right here. Like, ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast sticky, come get high with me, that's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast sticky, come get high with me, that's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? Well. Ran out of gas. Now we're about to go run and bust our ass. Are you ready? Come on. So we had two gas containers in the truck. And these idiots threw that shit out and put it in front of the door whenever we got inside of the shop before we left. So now we have to go and get a whole new damn canister. How you feeling? How you feeling? 25 sitting on a 25 mil. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Bro, I still can't believe that shit happened. Yeah, I can't either. Alright. All right. Good turn around, good turn around. Good game, good game. So uh you know we just captured the the we gas. The so uh no biggie, no biggie, no, no biggie, no biggie. Sometimes I make mistakes in my life But I'm trying so hard to make it right Even though sometimes I make mistakes yeah. in my life Life Let's goes go. on and on and on and on and I'm on yeah. Hey, I got wisdom from my papa He ain't have a lot of Money, but he taught me how to keep the perfect posture So folding under pressure, that ain't something that I'm about to Crabs in the barrel, I'm just trying to be a lobster I hit my cousin, told me to come It's been 12 years and I ain't had a little trip to Texas It is the time to go
three inches of snow on the Super Duty. The medium duty. Whew. Man, some nasty weather happened while we were gone. <laughs>